Simon, I'm going to give you a microphone. Trust me, you've got three minutes. I will appeal to a higher authority. You know who that is if you go over the three minutes. I would say to my brothers and sisters in, in the audience, I would implore you to think about this. This is not about them. This is not about the politicians. This is about us. This is about you and what we will do collectively. As has been said before, this is the tightest political race in modern history. And we must remember this, that general elections are a numbers game. It's all about the numbers. And we have the numbers. As Dawn said, we have the numbers in 168 marginal seats where we can decide who wins and who loses. So the only question we need to ask this evening is what will we do with that power? I would argue that what we must do in the very short space of time is come together and make demands on these politicians. We mustn't ask them to be decent to us, to show us equality. Is that one minute left? We mustn't ask them. We mustn't plead with them. We must demand, demand that they serve us political, social and racial justice for us, for our children. This is our time. And if we don't seize it, I tell you this, in the power of politics, we will once again be given the crumbs, the crumbs in education, the crumbs in employment, the crumbs in political representation. We must demand better than crumbs. You must leave here this evening walking 10 feet tall. We will be the agents for change. We will inspire a generation to believe that we can make a difference. And in that difference, and in that, and in that difference, you go, you go from this room and you say, Simon says, <laughs> Simon says we will be listened to, Simon says we will make a difference, and Simon says we will transform our society. Thank you. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you.